Tom Kelly finds himself in some interesting situations. He likes to tell us about them. Our oh, audience uh, warm up a oh. person whom we're very fond of, Tom Kelly. Kiss me, I'm Irish, so much better slogan than turn the lights off, I'm Amish, or, or explain it to me, I'm Polish, or circumcise me, I'm Jewish. So. I need help with my Viagra, my Propecia. I got pushed, shoved, I had my life threatened, I had an old Italian grandmother from Brooklyn try to poke me in the eye. It was, like, it was just peeing, like, it was like the fountains from the Bellagio, just shooting right out there. And then the kid started turning around like he was watering the infield of Yankee Stadium. He was like... <laughs> we have people watching in the Philippines, in Australia, we've got people watching in Italy, we've got people watching around the globe. Tom Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, the man who warms up our audience every day in the park is here. This is Tom Kelly at America's Got Talent with the best New York City audience of the week. I've never been around a guy that's been a mermaid before. Live long and prosper, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Since this is my first ever red carpet event or interview, I figured we're going to try to corner celebrities and ask them uh, for dating advice for Star Trek fans. Because he needs it. Alright people, who has fever? Fever! If you want to have a really big wedding, you know what, and you don't know how much money you're going to bring in, why don't you put the event up on Kickstarter before <laughs> A guy, a wedding is a big party right before your buddy goes into witness protection because after that party, you never see that dude again. <laughs> but you did. When I got married, I have to say, when I got married, you gave me a wedding gift. It was a donation to a charity. Yeah, because that wasn't a gift. That was a tax write-off. That was fine by me. <laughs> Tom Brady actually like dates supermodels, dumps the supermodel for another supermodel, then knocks up the first supermodel and the second supermodel, and nobody in America cares. That's how dreamy Tom Brady is. <laughs> Am I wrong, America? Do women put too much value on a man's financial worth? Tom, what do you think? I think, frankly, if you can find a rich, ugly guy, that's your secret to being happy, ladies. Because um, if you date a hot guy, you're going to get less hot as you get older, and he's going to still be rich, <laughs> and he will ditch you for a younger model. He will trade you in just like the Mercedes he's driving, ladies. Once you hit 100,000 miles, you're out. If you want to find the craziest like uh, neighbor in your neighborhood, find the one with the most Christmas lights. Because I feel like the person with the most Christmas lights outside the house has the most problems inside the house. I agree. I agree. I agree. you go, yes, though, that person, though, that family's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think we have a few pictures. Like, okay. uh, this is my neighbor, Mr. B. Yeah. Oh, each light in that house represents one thing wrong with their lives. <laughs> you know, then, then the yeah, next one. We're waiting says, for you to come back home today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we lay it's on you. Among celebrities, like ooh, my favorite celebrity who loves to decorate her house, right. Martha Stewart. She's been in prison, people. Seriously. <laughs> you know? Yeah. My next house, that guy right now, I'm pretty sure he's sleeping with the nanny. Next house. <laughs> Next house, who's the next one? Oh, that's my friend Danny. I went to high school with him. Look at that big Christmas column. He's making up for a small Christmas package inside the house. Next picture. And then that guy, uh, that guy right there comes to his house once a year. Nassau County police come three times a month, so. Our host and the contestants will hole up in a secret control room where they'll use spy cameras to play Peeping Tom. Sean? What's their deal? He looks like Latin America's Harry Potter. <laughs> After final guesses are locked. He's a tutor. First date. Brother and sister. We'll let our couples in on the game. We have been watching you guys on some hidden cameras. Relax, trust me, it's not bad. Okay. Trust me, look at her, she is so scared. Tom Kelly on Sure Tone Live at the Under the Sun Tour with Uncle Cracker himself. Uh, you. Dude, you've got a million fans out there. you got fans aging from 10 to literally 70 out there. How does it feel to have such a wide age of a fan base? It feels good. It yeah. feels good to have any any fan <laughs> base, let alone the, the, you know, the ages. But the ages are what keeps it interesting. Yeah, it does. You know, when you see the people 70 walking around at the shows and walkers, stuff like that, it feels like, uh, I don't know, it feels good. 
Yeah, well, you also have a girl who's 10 in the crowd today, too. Like, how does it feel to have, like, such young fans? Is this an all-ages show tonight? It, it is now, or she's a big shot, or we're screwed. Um, we're I in front of the live studio audience. I need to laugh. I'm coming to the show. What are you going to tell me? So I was basically raised by my 86-year-old grandparents who say anything. I'm in the middle of church, my grandfather just shouts out, Tommy, Grandma and I, we no make love for six months. And I'm sitting there for the rest of Mass, and I'm like, geez, six months. Grandpa was doing better than I am at 30. And... I swear people laugh at that when I tell her. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was funny.